Welcome back to my Let's Play for Tales of Legenda, and I suppose it's time to report to the town entrance. In order to find out what all the commotion's about. Seriously. What could be happening in this little town that's worth worrying about? Eh. Well, hopefully it'll be engaging. At least, I hope. Huh. That last one got pretty wearisome at points, you know? Because they kept dragging on for, like, forever. It seems there's no one here capable of understanding me. Oh, you're back, huh? Fenmore? What are you doing here? Oh, good. You still remember my sister's name. Sister? I guess they're identical twins. <laughs> well, no. So you're her younger sister, but you look basically just like her. So, what are you here for? I don't think anyone could forget about Fenmore. I mean, seriously. She played a pretty major role in the story for, you know, a non-playable character. Oh, great, we're back to the racism plot. Huh. Well, she is effectively the leader of her people, so she probably does have... Other stuff she could be doing right now. I couldn't believe she was living together with her hands until I saw it with my own eyes. I. Wait. She didn't kill Fenmore. Man, this story's already starting off on the wrong foot. I thought we already fixed this issue. And yeah, I know, such an issue would be obviously complex and would, couldn't be so easily solved for a matter of weeks, but I mean, it's a video game. Usually that stuff gets solved, you know, really, really conveniently, really, really quickly. <laughs> yeah, she did do that. That doesn't follow. Just because people want to capture Shirley, it's her fault people die trying to protect her? That makes no sense. No, it's not. Her logic doesn't compute, and it's breaking my mind. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, the music might add to the mood a little bit, but I think this would be a section we'd be better off if it's actually voiced. Um, to put all the anger and vitriol into it. Jeez. They already tried that, and it didn't work. And don't make me beat up the sea again, because I'll do it. Don't think I won't. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's because... That's not true at all. Hatred only breeds more hatred, man. Doesn't get you anywhere. Just leaves everyone with blind, man. It's terrible. <sighs> Not one happy moment?
Don't you mean because people want her powers? Jeez, this is getting pathetic. I imagine she's already doing what she needs to do. Jeez. Yep, one thing I know for certain... You probably are. Something tells me we're gonna have to stop you at some point. Well, good. I didn't want to see you anyway. I don't think she's gonna sweeten up for anybody. Eh, to be fair, I think that'd be the natural reaction to Moses calling anyone sweet. I'll give you a pass on that one. Yeah, we'll hit him for it. Pop him on the head. Calling her Tulip? What's her name even mean in their actual language anyway? I'm kind of curious. Yeah, that obsession's probably gonna get her in trouble. Yeah, stop talking to yourself in normal. To yourself in normal where we can hear you. Yeah, you're not fine. Seriously, you break down so easily, it's not even funny, Shirley. Oh, you didn't even think about their feelings before you made this move? And you're supposed to be their leader. Jeez, you suck. <sighs> I imagine a large number of them disagree with you. Well, that's a lot easier said than done. And there's no good way to resolve it, either. Well, at least they're not taking the easy way out. I guess I should be happy about that. <laughs> Getting a compliment from Will, huh? And then smack down hard. Just as soon as he gets his hopes up. I'm guessing this is going to segue into trouble somewhere else then. Or are we going to be paying the, um... Shining Ones a visit? Huh. Is that Fenmore's grave? Hmm. Oh. Stella's. Okay, that makes more sense. I suppose. Considering Stella was her sister. Yeah, it was normal, all right. You're gonna find it, huh? A little boost? You're already hyperactive enough as is! What is? 
The Everlight? I bet that's what you're looking for, isn't it? This isn't a date. If it was, it involved the bakery or something. Well, now we have to investigate because she's acting weird. Seriously, whenever she acts weird, something weird's going on. Huh. Well, that's pronounced. Yeah, seriously, just skip over that and keep moving on. Oh, now what? Come on, up and at him. Don't make me set my dog after you. Or what, you'll throw me out? Seriously? Well, apparently Sennel's psychic! You can't have that this early. Not without coffee! <laughs> well, he's not technically a dog, but he treats him like one, so I guess it doesn't really make a difference then, does it? A favor, huh? Well, I guess we're just gonna move on to the plaza then. It's gonna suck with only having, you know, the three of us. Unless the rest are waiting for us at the fountain. Because let's face it, fighting with only three characters would suck, and I haven't even used Moses, so his skills are all underleveled. I think we're in the wrong area. Oh yeah, we gotta go this way first, I think. Get on the main thoroughfare. I keep wanting to run the wrong way out in here. Like, I want to run deeper into the housing district, and that's not where I need to go. Huh. Here we go. On the road again. Just can't wait to get back on that road again. And thankfully the road was short. <laughs> Because I don't know any more lyrics from that song. <laughs> you? You're still here? Tones of that vulgar monkey's voice can only mean one thing. Norma. Guess it's going to be one of those days. What's going on? Well, that's not a surprise. She didn't really want me in the first place. I'm sure I have no intention of staying here long. I've already had my fill of your whiny voice. You do? Seriously. Deny it all you want. Yeah, she does. He's an old man. Which means he's probably a pervert. Ooh, telling us to stay out of it, huh? Yes, there's no point in stirring up unnecessary trouble. Yeah, that's... decidedly weird, too. Damn you, Norma, for spreading your weirdness disease all over the place! Now what? <sighs> Foolish dream? You mean the Everlight? I'm sure the Everlight exists... somewhere. Despair, huh? Well, now you're bad talking your master? You take that back! No one talks about him like that and gets away with it. 
No one! I don't care if you are an old man, it's on! <laughs> well, I guess you got that right, considering we got to fight the sea. It's a completely different fairy tale, with death and betrayal, and lots and lots of racism. <laughs> oh, we're not throwing our lives away. Sometimes it's just about the journey, you know? And the reward at the end of it. Well, at least you didn't try to beat the crap out of them. That's a bit unusual when she doesn't respond back. Okay, now let's see... Okay, lay it on us. What's our quest? Well, she doesn't like talking about her past, so what do you expect? Yeah, good luck with that. We're not gonna forget about it. Oh, whatever. Just get on with it. Oh, it'll probably be dangerous. I mean, come on. <laughs> Can they stop interrupting her and just let her finish? Well, I can't deny that Moses is probably correct. Nora's likely to get us in a bunch of trouble. Oh, there'd be a whole bunch of people getting in a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, some of us will. I'm sure it does. I mean, it does have a nice name, right? Everlight. Man eating ruins. Jeez. <sighs> Who would be? Just look at the name. Man-eating. <sighs> Jeez. Oh. Talking about Grun now? Which is why the Everlight might be hidden there. Well, we've been there once already. I'm pretty sure we can manage. And we're even stronger now, so it should be easier. Huh. Got that right. At least we can warp there. Huh. Chasing a dream. Well, I guess the party's back together. I just wish we didn't always have to do all this joint stuff every single time. <sighs> Pretty sure we've opened up a warp to that place, so... As soon as we got out of town, we should be able to, just be able to jump where we need to go. Should I work on the crafting system and stuff? Maybe. I imagine that place is open now. Do I care to mess with it? Eh, not particularly. What is she doing? Yeah, no matter what. And hopefully it'll take less time than helping out Will and Harriet. What sort of talk is this? The Everlight, it's like crash, boom, bang! It's amazing! <laughs> uh, you're right. It doesn't tell anyone anything whatsoever. Because it's meaningless gibberish. Huh. 
Oh, now we know where she gets it from. And you'll be too one day, Norma. Well, a wish. Hmm. Which is funny, because how she'll end up, she's gonna be nothing but a party girl, apparently. <laughs> well, we can see where she got her personality from, alright. <laughs> Jeez. She sounds like Tatsumaki or something. Like, if it can grant wishes, I'll use it to give myself bigger boobs. And now they got me thinking of Magical Shopping Arcade Abinabashi, since the f I can't remember the female lead's name right now. It's been a couple years since I last watched it, but she picks up a charm that you can wave back and forth in order to give yourself bigger breasts, and use it to take down Overlord. Because, you know, comedy. Oh, so I can't grant those kinds of wishes? Why not? <laughs> well, when I find the other light, I'll go ahead and ask for you anyway. If it exists. Just because you believe it doesn't mean it exists. Yeah, you're the same way nowadays, Norma. No, no it doesn't. <laughs> Used to be, huh? Okay, I didn't need that revelation. Oh, I recall pretty clear the time I thought it would have been nice if you said that. <laughs> Memories of things that never happened. Ah, Master. Oh, but Master's not my Master anymore. Er, I, I mean... I don't know. By his name, maybe? Oh, he got expelled, huh? That's not to make me upset. You should have seen how mad I was. So what happened? Bavon's adversary? Huh. Bulging eye... eye veins, though? I don't know. As far as I know, there's no limit to stupidity, so... probably unbelievably stupid. They're trying to front load this chapter to high heaven, I swear. Oh, all the other scholars? Huh. No. But... Let's face it, if most of the scholars agree, unless you have some amazing evidence to prove otherwise, they're not going to believe you. <sighs> Nobody knows. That's precisely why it's worth pursuing. I 
I must check to see if they're the right answers. So I'll do it with my own eyes and own legs. Well, no matter what anyone says, I'll continue my search for the Everlight. Jeez, does no one listen in this universe? <sighs> Jeez, that took way too long. Run out the clock there. Yeah, he sounds like you, a goofball. Of course, now we have to ask how he died. Did he go into the Manning Ruins and get eaten? Sounds like a distinct possibility. Yeah, it's a name that does make you want to turn back. Not as much as that flashback did, but still. Well, next time I guess we'll be entering the ruins. Anything is gonna take me this long, you know, to freaking get here. Until then, see ya.